When you first log in to M1, you will see the My M1 screen like you do here. We are going to go through the different sections that make up the home page. First, we will start in the upper left-hand corner with the search option. To use this feature, simply click on the line and key in a word or phrase. For this example, I'll go ahead and use order entry. You do not need to hit enter as the system will begin searching as soon as you start typing. If you need to stop the search for any reason, use the stop button just below the line. In my example here, I have three results and I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the sales order entry. Notice it will take me directly to the screen and I can start working. When I'm done, I can go ahead and close out and I have the option of viewing my search history or deleting my search history. Below that are the sales, production, and financial applications within M1. We will not be covering those topics today in this video. Now let's take a look at the company message displayed below the tabs towards the top of the screen. I've created a company message that reads, Welcome to M1, have a great day. The company message can be customized and is found in the database info options. Just below that is the favorites section. This works similar to a web browser favorites. Right click anywhere in the favorites area and click on edit favorites. You can hide and unhide by clicking on the eyeball icon. You can also move your favorite up and down by clicking and holding the mouse on the two bars to the right and dragging it up or down. If you wish to delete a favorite, simply click on the red icon to the left of the favorite. And once you have made your changes, go ahead and click on the confirm button at the bottom. To add a menu option to your favorites, go ahead and navigate to the menu option you wish to add, hover over the option and we'll go ahead and add organization entry, right click and then click on add to my M1. You will have three options here. The first is to add to a specific group in your favorites already, add it as uncategorized or create a new group. For this example, I'll just go ahead and add it to my JN category or, or to my JN group and we'll go back to my M1 and you'll see that organization entry has now been added. In the center of the screen is recent activities. M1 keeps track of your movements throughout the system as you work, tracking the menu options, the items you are working on by date and time. This can be extremely helpful when you need to step away from M1, whether you need to work in another application or go to lunch, take a phone call, attend a meeting, uh, or have to go out to the shop floor. Regardless of the disruption in M1, you can come back and the system will tell you exactly where you left off and what you were working on. For instance, in my case, I was working in job entry on job 347-01-1 seven minutes ago. So now I can come back in, click on job entry, and it takes me right back into the job I was working on. To the far right is top activities. And here M1 tracks which menu options you use the most. You also have the option to filter the type of menu options you wish to see by clicking in the box uh, in front of the option. So let's go ahead and add entry screens and you can see I have uh, different activities appearing.